Alright everybody, what's going on and welcome back to another video. In today's video, what I'm going to be showing you guys is uh, my home therapy. So when I can't go to core or outpatient therapy, uh, this is what I do at home. So what I do it on is uh, I do the exercise on a mat. Um, and it's right underneath the futon. And now what I got to do is I got to go to the floor, pull that out, and you know, I'll just show you guys. All right, so I'm on the ground. Now let's move this chair out again. Kind of twist to the side, lay down, and pull out the mat. Alright everybody, so the workout is 20, what did I say, I said 20 Russian twists, uh, 20 overhead press, and then 20 push-ups for 3 rounds. A lot of this stuff is kind of a mix of um, like CrossFit and the therapy I do now. I try and take a couple of ideas from you know both of those places and put it together and make my own thing. So that's what I'm going to do today and let's get started.
All right, everybody, so that's the workout right there. Um, I just want to kind of explain a little bit and why I, it looked like I struggled so much. Um, so on the, uh, the, the first exercise, the Russian twist, um, trying to get that twisting motion with my core right now is difficult just because the muscles aren't working to full function. Um, so that's why I do those to try and get, you know, strengthen those muscles and um, just let my, 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 let my body know that I need those muscles to, to rotate the way I should. Um, so I just kind of, you know, trying to give them, get them to wake up. Um, also with the overhead press, um, the reason why I drop them so much is because the same thing, the, the core strength isn't there all the way. And, you know, as you guys seen, trying to do 10 with, uh, trying to do 10 presses with the 10 pounds is a little difficult. I had to drop it a couple of times. Um, a couple of times I did drop them, but I wasn't tired. Uh, it's the reason I did that is because when to sit up like this without using your your muscles like the, the your core muscles you're using i think they call it the skeletal like the skeletal system uh, so you're using you know your bones and everything to keep you up which isn't uh, which isn't the best thing to do for your bones um and that that kind of worries me a little bit that's why i want to get my core strength up so i don't have to so my body doesn't have to rely on you know my skeleton to hold itself up and yeah that's the workout as you can see, I got a little bit of a sweat going. That's actually a good sign with spinal cord injuries because a lot of people lose the ability to sweat. So next, let's see what I got written down here. Uh, next is a little bit of coordination. I uh, was trying to control my body when I say, not let my body, you know, do its own thing. Um, so what I'm gonna start out with is trying to kneel. All right, so what I gotta do here is I gotta put, try and place my knees where I want them, like put them to my side like this right here and then I lift so see how this goes okay So what I'm trying to do here is trying to get my hips in and use my core, or like my midsection of my body to try and hold up my body. You know? All right, so to go here, I'm gonna set a timer right now, stay up here for 30 seconds and probably do that a couple times. All right, 30 seconds. Get the hips in, try and lean back a little bit and tighten my core. Trying to like flex my abs basically. I'm trying to stay stable. Alright, 30 seconds. We got two more. Back up, take a little rest. Let's go again. I 
All right, everybody. So that is the workout right there. Um, it's relatively quick. I mean, if you do it, like, it took me a little longer because I was messing with the camera and everything like that. But anyone with a spinal cord injury, any, any injury or no injury at all, is uh, more than welcome to try it out. Um, working out, you know, like in this in this situation, uh, knowing what I can do, um, like knowing what I used to do. Let me say that is uh, it's tough at times. It gets in your head a little bit. Like even when I was doing this workout, I was struggling a little bit with the overhead press. Um, and just knowing what you're capable of without the injury, um, you know, gives you a little disappointed. Uh, I mean, but as long as you know that you're gonna, you're gonna recover um, and you'll get back to doing what you were doing, um, I mean, you know, you shouldn't let it get to you at all. And that's what I do. You know, every time that I think, um, you know, every time that I think, dang, I used to do this this way, I could do, I could do this so much better than what I'm doing right now. Uh, you know, I just think of the reality. You know, I had an injury. Um, I have an injury right now. I'm fighting it, and it's only gonna get better if I keep on pushing um, and you know, try and get back to where I where I was um, and even better. All right, everybody. So that's it for the video. Thank you guys for watching. Um, if you haven't already, like and subscribe. I appreciate the views. I appreciate the support, and I will see you guys in the next video.